New at 6, clean up in full swing today after storms flood parts of northeast Wisconsin. In Oshkosh, the water poured in a daycare center, forcing staff to cut classes and shuffle kids around just to stay open. Now, the daycare is in need of supplies after flooding destroyed much of their resources. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval has more from Oshkosh. It's nap time for kids at Mary Lindsmeyer School, but today they're in a different classroom after floodwaters make their rooms unusable. I knew a lot of stuff was going to be ruined and wrecked. Director April Burrow describes what she saw. I open up the door and I see this water about six feet in front of me, and at that point my heart just dropped because I knew at that point that the water was in all three of my classrooms as well as my office. The school has nearly 75 students. They had to cancel some of their K-4 classes Thursday and Friday because they just don't have the space. Today they're using fans to dry out and salvaging anything they can. Right now the school says they have no estimates of damages so far, but the last time that the school flooded back in 2008, cleaning crews alone cost more than $15,000. The United Methodist Church is letting the school use their rooms upstairs until the basement classrooms are repaired. People pulling together and uh, helping us out is a really great thing and we're very thankful to the church for giving us the opportunity to use their classrooms. A lot of the craft supplies and toys were ruined from the water, including some projects the students made. They're slowly falling off the wall and into the water and it's it's heartbreaking to see that, to know we can't give them to the kids because they work so hard to create these items. The director is asking the community for any donations they can offer. Supplies can be dropped off at the United Methodist Church. In Oshkosh, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26.